Robert Oppenheimer was known for making martinis at Los Alamos. One of his colleagues described them as the most delicious and coldest martinis. In Christopher Nolan's film Oppenheimer, you can actually see him making and drinking one during a dinner party. But did you notice what he did to the rim first? When making martinis, Oppenheimer would dip the rim of the glass in lime juice and honey, and he made them strong. The martinis usually had a 16 to one ratio of gin to vermouth. For context, the normal ratio is about four to one. Oppenheimer preferred his martinis shaken and often enjoyed them to the toast to the confusion of our enemies. The film doesn't explicitly reference the drink significance, leaving it as an Easter egg for history buffs and viewers familiar with the physicist's drinking preferences. As for what the other people at Los Alamos were drinking, parties at Los Alamos usually served a mixture of lab-made alcohol with grapefruit juice chilled with dry ice. And if you want to try one yourself, the Los Alamos Historical Society sells a martini glass and a shaker with Oppenheimer's recipe printed on the side.